Hey everyone, James Chapman, Chapman Insurance Group. I want to give you some quick tips on how your general liability portion of your policy, your commercial policy, works for you. Starting off, your policy should consist of these main parts here. Let's go through each one uh, individually and pay close attention to the limits we discussed. This is just my recommendations on what I think you should carry for your business. Uh, per occurrence, so if you have a claim that is liability related, this could be someone coming into your location, slipping and falling. Um, per occurrence, $1 million. The policy's gonna have a per occurrence limit, and then it's gonna have an aggregate limit. So the most we'll pay out for any one event, and the most we're gonna pay out in any policy year, okay? What I recommend on that is $1 million per occurrence with an aggregate of $2 million. You also see a section breakout for products and completed operations, that is usually an aggregate limit as well uh, at $2 million. Products completed operations is after the services have been rendered. So if I am a uh, electrician and I go out and perform work, job's done, I've been paid, I leave, and then two weeks later there's a fire in the home that deems I'm liable, products completed operations, what plays into that for you, all right? Uh, next, advertising and personal injury limit should be a million dollars. Uh, this is anything, any libel, slander, defamation, uh, copyright infringements can play into, based off of your advertising, it gives you a set limit for that. Uh, I recommend seeing that at least at a million dollars. Next is what's referred to as legal liability. You may also see a list on your policy as tenant legal liability. You rent your space, you cause damage, you're deemed negligent, it's, it's your calls for, say, a fire in your location. You are going to be responsible back to your landlord. Uh, normally, you'll see those at $100,000. Uh, most policies, $300,000. I recommend $300,000. But just make sure it's enough to cover your space that you lease, okay? And then lastly is medical. Normally, you'll see that at $5,000. Uh, sometimes maybe as low as one, high as $10,000. The great part about medical is, let's say somebody is injured, comes into your office, slips and falls, the carrier does not have to deem you liable up here to pay out medical. Medical can pay uh, without taking on uh, saying that you're at fault. Uh, and that's great because sometimes if somebody's something simple, maybe it can be paid out a couple thousand dollars and it goes away uh, without them getting into this limit here. So that's a quick overview of general liability. Your policy, depending on your type of risk, may need to include liquor liability, professional liability, like insurance agents. So just a few things that have a basics of a general liability policy works. Um, look at your policy, take action, pull out your policy, look at it, make sure you have set limits uh, that are around these numbers. If I can be of service to you, please feel free to reach out to me. You can direct message me here through Facebook uh, or reach me at chapmaninsurancegrp.com. Thank you.